if I get only half the B2 I need from my 800 grams of meat daily, do I also need B2 supplements the rest of my life as a carnivore? So look, this is probably off the back of something that we've recorded recently in regards to B2 increasing uh, methylation. I mean, you've mentioned there for the rest of my life on carnivore, you are going to absorb far less B2 on any other lifestyle. You can't get <laughs> enough B2. For example, you would probably need to consume, um, uh, and I'm, this is a stab in the dark, but it might be three or four kilograms of, um, of spinach, for example, to, in order to get enough B2. It, it, one, it's impossible to obtain enough B2 from, from the, the plant kingdom to what I've explained in regards to increasing methylation. So this isn't just a carnivore thing. It, and and this, is, this, is, this is the thing. Stephen and I give this advice. It's not carnivore advice. It's not keto advice. It's not low-carb advice. It's health advice. This, this is health advice. And, you know, I've, I've, tried to, I've tried to even change the title of, of the live that we do and try to put it more towards health and well-being because this isn't about being keto, low carb, carnivore or, or other. This is about health and well-being. It just so happens that animal proteins are by far more bioavailable than any of the vitamins and minerals that we can obtain from plants. And that, that is a fact. But make no bones about it. This isn't about carnivore. You are obtaining and accessing, absorbing more vitamin B2 living this way than you would be on any other lifestyle.